Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning to you. We're actually going to start off with the good news of the morning, and that is temperatures this morning are warmer than where we were the last couple of mornings. We're starting off in the mid-60s as the day begins valley-wide. We are warmer than yesterday morning by some 5 to 10 degrees, really. So a, a feel this morning that will bring a warmer start, but that's because of the clouds that have been with us through the overnight. Winds are out of the southeast right now. Sustained winds at about oh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. We are going to pick up those wind speeds today. Going to be a bit breezy out there for the course of the afternoon with that southeast breeze coming in. Now let's get to the real story of the morning, and that's what's going on right across the nation's midsection. We have got a digging, deepening trough coming out of the Rockies, and waves of energy ahead of it are going to continue to impact our weather for the next few days. It's easy to see what's going on this morning across the nation, and it's easy to tell the story closer to home. As a result, as we look at our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, we have had light rain showers falling through the overnight hours, currently seeing some of those rain showers in southern sections of Sullivan County, as well as portions of southern Vigo and Clay counties. We've got rain along I-74 for anyone on that commute off to the northern sections and back into Illinois, more rain as well back toward the Champaign area. There's breaks, more of them this morning than there are areas with rain falling. And again, I think today is not going to be an all day rain, but when it does rain at times, it could produce some heavy amounts. We could see rainfall between now and the time we get to Friday in some areas getting more than an inch of rain, but everybody, as you can see, is at minimal getting somewhere around a half an inch of rain, and that would put us all at above the monthly average of 4.5 inches. Currently at our studio, we've had about four and a tenth of an inch, so I don't think we're going to have any problem without calling this one a wetter than normal month for us in 22. As for the rain today, again, here we see what's happening this morning. We've had those light showers. It's just a continual flow of energy coming from the south. Could see some breaks out there in the clouds this afternoon, but folks, that's not a good thing on a day like this. We'll go through Thursday as well with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And even into our Friday, you can almost see that spin in the atmosphere of that energy eventually kicking out of here, but I don't think it'll kick out until we get to the weekend and time it right for those improved temperatures and drier conditions. Now we are at a marginal risk today for some stronger thunderstorms. It's a possibility and that's what I meant about that sun's energy. If the sun breaks through the clouds, that is going to destabilize the atmosphere even more. Same for tomorrow. We are at marginal risk. So keep in mind there could be a few strong storms today and tomorrow. As for the day today, temperature wise will be warmer. Again, any sun we see not always a plus on a day like this. It enhances the risk for thunderstorms, scattered showers throughout the day. Same for tonight. We are going to keep scattered rain around and a few thunderstorms through the late night. 66, a mild low. Tomorrow will be a cooler day. Highs expected to reach into the low 70s. On Friday, we will see temperatures cooler still, but the rain comes to an end Friday and the dry weather gets here just in time for the holiday weekend with temperatures summer-like by next week.